Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. And for those of you who are stopping in for the very first time ever, welcome. Please do pop into the comments, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, I do spend most of my evenings over there on my sofa. And that's when I go through the comments and post them up to the feed and I give you a proper hello. So don't be shy. I will get back to you and um, engage with you and that's sort of how it works. So welcome one and all. That was Leo in case you're wondering. Leo is a channel, channel mascot. <laughs> He's getting used to his role and um, he just got a little new kitty carrier. And he's now very attached to it. So he's, he's going to sit over there. I am pulling from Whispers of Love Oracle to activate the reading. Wishing you all here in the States um, a very nice holiday weekend. Uh, we've got card 36, Turn On Your Heart Light. Reflect on a time when you experience love. What a beautiful message. Turn on your heart light. <laughs> yes. Feeling very ET, phone home kind of an energy there. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull a modified Celtic cross, give you my general impressions. We'll let the clarifiers give us the details and so on and so forth here we go we do have the um, new moon coming up the new moon in virgo coming up on the 2nd of september so i'll be getting to that here over the weekend as well as the september monthly um love tarot energy update i'll be doing that as well so there are a couple of uh, general readings for the whole collective of all zodiac signs coming up so stay tuned here we go. Nine of Wands, overall energy, something that's been a bit of a struggle. What's crossing you with regard to the past life soulmate? So maybe this is something that is um, getting to be a lot. You haven't yet given up. You're persevering, but it is a bit exhausting. Mm. Hermit in your unconscious awareness, we are in Virgo season, so maybe this is just you kind of pulling yourself off the grid a bit, taking some time for some self-reflection, um, a, a needed time out. Yeah, in the past, um, the, the Seven of Wands can be that sort of resistance, defensiveness, uh, maybe even a need to take a stand for something, but this is seeming like it's been a in your conscious awareness, the Four of Wands, it's um, all about this very sacred connection and then in the near future, uh, choosing the path forward. So I feel like this has been almost like what I'm seeing is it, it's been an inner struggle, right? Not maybe necessarily... <sighs> He's this many, guys. He's this many. So we need to be patient with the baby. Um, <laughs> this feels like what I'm looking at is your own inner struggle with regard to a very sacred connection. Right? Do I keep persevering? You know, uh, one day I'm all in and the next day I'm kind of pulling myself back and the next day I'm exhausted and the next day I'm taking a stand for it. And uh, the next day I'm resisting and defensive and the next day, what the heck? Where are we going with this? So that's sort of the storyline that's coming through. Remember, it's a general reading, not a private reading. So it may not resonate for everyone fully. Just take what speaks to you, leave the rest. If you do want a private reading, I do offer them. There is always a link below every video that will take you to the booking page. So um, check that out if you desire. Here we go, nine of wands, six of cups crossing. Hanged man, sun. So there hasn't been a lot of give and take, six of pentacles, not a lot of reciprocity. Things have been on hold, stuck, maybe stagnant. It's um, impacting your happiness. 
um, for sure. And it's a, it's not like you've given up on it, but maybe there's a question, you know, will we ever sort of get things back on track? Is there even um, an opportunity here for things to, for, for, for some generosity, for some reciprocity, for the equal take, give and take of it all? That was the message of the full moon in Aquarius, by the way. So if you missed my full moon in Aquarius reading, which was just about two weeks ago, because we're coming up on the new moon in Virgo, please go watch that because the whole reading was about that. I think I even titled it something about the whole give and take of it all, the ups and downs of the give and take of it all. Yes, um, because that's what I'm seeing here. So when we have this next lunation, we're kind of closing that out um, and we're, we're setting new intentions um, based on what sort of we had to let go in the full moon and now when we have this new moon, it, it's, you know, we've been through this sort of waning, 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 waning. And as the moon grows smaller, 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 it's a time to kind of reformulate our plan. Mm -hmm. So you may want to check out that reading. Hermit in your unconscious awareness. Magician on, the, I love that, on the Hermit. Ace of Wands and the Eight of Cups, right? What do I need to release? I'm, I'm going to be traveling lightly here. Um, the Magician on the Hermit. I'm wiser now. I've, I'm kind of learning as I go and grow. And I got to make something happen. I know I can do this. It's part of the manifestation process. Um, and we are getting back into the eclipse wormhole. We're about to, you know, enter into eclipse season. This eight of cups um, happens under an eclipse. Um, so it is about sort of paring things down, getting back to basics, and then being prepared to take some form of action. Um, Mm -hmm. It's in your unconscious awareness, but it's part of your manifestation process. So I do feel this is this particular reading for those of you who are very much aware of the lunar cycles is kind of a follow up to that Aquarian moon, full moon. So let's see the seven of wands in the past. even if it's happening unconsciously. Just wanted to add that. Yeah, four of cups, five of wands, high priestess. Your um, intuition. Oof. The four of cups telling you something doesn't feel right here. Um, this is very, I'm very disillusioned. Lots of a sense of conflict, things feeling off. Um, could be disagreeable energy, but could be outside sources of conflict, tension, things vying for attention, and you taking a stand, whether you had to keep things at arm's length or whether you kind of had to assert yourself, right? And always operating on your intuition there with that high priestess coming from the bottom of the deck. For those of you who are new, when I pull from the bottom of the deck, it's either coming from unconscious awareness or playing out behind the scenes. Either way, it, you know, it, she represents the moon. So it's what's hidden or it's what's like inner knowing. Like I just know, like I know. And so this was all something in the past that just didn't sit well with you. That was a constant source of struggle, disappointment, disillusionment. And now you're processing it in a more conscious way about this connection and in the near future about, you know, okay, now it's about the path forward. So let's see the four of wands. Yes, he is in fact on top of that armoire. Was on top of that armoire. <laughs> it's about your future, the future of this connection, nine of wands. I'm still in the struggle, man. The struggle is real. I'm losing sleep over it. Nine of swords. Holy Hannah. This situation will not let you rest. 
because it's important and it's difficult i don't want to just let go of a good thing i can i can hear you saying that if this is a good thing if there's a, a possibility that you know we could kind of be mutually invested in this connection but i cannot do it by myself um obviously and so while things are kind of in this no man's land and, and, and we've got this either stagnation or whatever this temporary standstill is about, the hanged man is offering you this opportunity to look at it from the 30,000 foot view. And while you're doing that, it is a struggle and it is um, hard to kind of sidestep your emotional investment, right? It is hard. I'm going to give you that. Um, but there's a process happening internally as well. And the hermit does give us an opportunity because the hermit is basically about our personal growth and our, our um, insight and our self-awareness and our introspection. And it says, okay, what am I bringing to the party? And it allows us to kind of pull back a bit and examine ourselves right here. Um, and the magician is aiding that process, saying you got everything you need, everything you need, so that before you begin to manifest the next part of the path forward, like what it is you truly want to see happen, change, develop, evolve, you have to really understand yourself, really know yourself quite well, and then once you know that, boom, run with it. Or... Turn and walk away. That will be an option. So that's what's happening internally. So now let's see in the near future, what's happening consciously is I'm not quite ready to let go of this connection because there could be a real beautiful future here. And that's why I'm losing sleep. So I hear you. Two of wands in the near future. Mm. Yeah. King of Cups. <laughs> and you and your beautiful ruling planet, Uranus, which rules Aquarius. And it's all going to come down to a leap of faith. All the twos in tarot are cards of choice and decision. The two of wands, choosing the path forward. The two of cups, uh, choosing this connection at the level of heart and soul. The king of cups, that is the keeper of your heart or this person's emotional availability, their emotional investment. And whether or not they express it, notoriously bad at expressing feelings but not for the lack of feeling them you know and sometimes it's crapshoot mm. so i am feeling that it's going to come back to this it's going to come back to what your intuition tells you um not just about this person but about uh, what you've learned about yourself and what you bring to the party of this connection, what your gut check tells you, what your intuition tells you uh, about the value of what you have learned so far and what, you know, have you gotten what, what you came for? Because if so, carry on. If not, there's more to go, right? It's kind of what I'm seeing here. So I'm going to continue uh, in the extended, and there are links to that below. I say links, plural, one, two, three. You'll see the options for how to access the extended. Um, there's a monthly option, which is a renewal. There's a one and done for this, and then there's the all access pass to everything. So check that out. But um, what I want to do is jump and to the deeper dive of this relationship. What's working for you, what's not working for you, and what are the opportunities that could mitigate what's been working against you, and that could be very helpful. What does this person want you to know? Let's see from the King of Cups point of view what they, what they have to say. 
Uh, what are they picking up from you at 5D? What vibes are they getting? I'll complete this Celtic cross uh, to close out that extended. So that's what we're going to do. Before I give you the astrology here, if this reading has spoken to you personally, and yeah, if you have been enjoying my readings, if you like my style, if you enjoy my crazy cat, um, you know, and you haven't yet done so, please subscribe below. It doesn't cost a thing, but it helps me continue to do my work here. This is my calling. This is what I do. I don't go to another job. I don't, you know, have any other way of supporting myself. This is my work. So that's what you can do to help me stay here and to continue to bring you these messages. Thank you in advance for that. So we've got the hanged man is um, Neptune. Neptune rules Pisces. The sun is the sun. And the sun um, rules the sign of Leo. Hermit is Virgo. We've got uh, the magician is Mercury. Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini. We have the high priestess is the moon. The moon actually rules the sign of Cancer. We've got the King of Cups is Scorpio energy, and the Fool is the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. So that's what I have for you for right now. I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you, see you there in a second. Bye for now.